So I'm gonna answer a couple more fan questions today in this video. A couple of you asked these, so thank you. The first is, what is my favorite movie in the whole Land Before Time franchise? And the second one is, what is my favorite song? How do you answer? How do you pick one? What's your favorite movie and favorite song? Ah, I'm so nervous about picking the wrong one. I'm gonna do my best. There's gonna be some ties. So since you ask difficult questions, you get difficult answers. I think it's a tie for me for my favorite movie for different reasons. My favorite movies are the second one and the fifth one. I love the second one because it's the very first one that my brother was in when he played Littlefoot. I just think his little voice is so cute. Back when he was so cute, now he's grown up and bleh. <laughs> If you have a sibling, you understand. Um, but I just love the fact that this group of kids was out doing their thing, playing, being kids, and found an egg and raised it, hatched it and raised it. And I love the character of Chomper. So that's why that one is one of my favorites. And the other favorite is The Land Before Time 5. Not only because I was lucky enough to be able to be a part of it and voice Sarah for the first time, but I loved that Chomper return. And I just loved being a part of that gang. You know, I love being a part of that ensemble. It was very meaningful to me at that time in my life. So um, it's always going to be one of my favorites for that reason. I will tell you though, a little kind of a little secret. I was so excited to finally show up to record Sarah and I got the worst cold. I was battling a cold that whole week that we were recording. Luckily, by the time we got to the songs, my cold was gone. So I got to really feel like Sarah, but it was really hard to feel completely like her when I was battling being sick. I think I pulled it off though, so that's good. And my favorite song, oh, I think it's another tie, ha <laughs> ha, between Always There and If We Hold On Together. I love Always There because the kids are so vulnerable and so genuine about who they turn to in times of need. And it's just such an emotional song. It's, for me, the most reflective of Sarah's deepest emotional love. Like, her love for her father is the most important thing to her, the most important relationship to her, I think. And so to sing about how important that is to her, was it was just a beautiful song and beautiful for me to sing it. And Littlefoot singing about his mom and the other characters singing about their parents. It, it's just a very loving song. And uh, it's a ballad. I love ballads. So I love that one. And then I love If We Hold On Together, not only because also it's a beautiful ballad, but of all the songs in the franchise that I've been lucky enough to sing, that one I think was the closest to my natural singing voice. Not quite there, but almost. When I sing a Sarah, even when I'm uh, more singing versus kind of being charactery, I'm still singing in the back of my throat and pinching my throat a little bit, so it's really hard for me to sing out fully. But uh, I was able to do that a little bit more in If We Hold On Together, and I kind of got to belt a little bit, which is really fun. I have a much more breathy, natural singing voice versus like a, a, a pinchy singing voice, if that makes any sense. I've never been trained in singing, so I'm probably using the completely wrong words. Sorry. But that's why I love both of those songs. So thank you for asking the questions, and if you have any more, I will try to get to them uh, when I have a chance. Bye!